I was born with a lot of energy. When I was younger, my mom pushed me around in the stroller, and she said I would break out of the back and just run away just in the middle of nowhere, and she'd have to chase me down, and she figured out how to stop it by taking me to the park and letting me run around constantly. I am somebody who, has been, who is blessed with an insane amount of energy, but it comes at a cost, and if you're like me, watch this video and hear my opinion on it, and maybe this also applies to you. But, um, so having a lot of energy, I'd been athletic my entire life. Uh, you know, they put me in sports at a young age. I started playing soccer or, you know, baseball. I couldn't hit the baseball much to my dad's dismay. But then I, um, I started playing soccer. I think I played soccer for 11 years from when I was five to when I was 16. And I always was a midfield position because, you know, wasn't terribly good at like, um, scoring or like blocking people like backpedaling but I had like the best stamina out of everybody and it's still I kind of like that in my life like I can you know I'm making this video because I was thinking about how I've been going to the gym a lot uh, lately and I'm happy about it and not to get sidetracked here but for somebody like me who doesn't have a lot of for somebody like me who has a lot of like physical energy if I don't use it it's like my life just feels uh, like dull, I guess, right? So yeah, hear me out, right? I played soccer for 11 years, and then I was, you know, during high school, I played sports constantly. And I would even, like, run in the off-seasons just because I was, like, obsessed with exercise, I think, you know? And, like, I think there's a si fine line between, like... Um, Insan well, not insanity, but, like, having an addiction to exercise and, like, being disciplined, you know? Because last month, or last year, I exercised for, like, 10 months straight, and I would go, like, I'd, it'd be a part of my routine, and I would, like, get into it and do it every single day, and, like, if I didn't go to the gym, my day would just feel incomplete. And I think being a person like I am, who has just, like, an, an insane amount of energy... It comes with a price, like a responsibility you have to pay to yourself because here I am not wanting to do anything after like really going to the gym like super hard for like four hours, right? Those of you who have been uh, coming into my streams and just my friends in general, my family, know I'm in this interesting position in my life where I don't, I'm not working right now. And I'm kind of just waiting for certain things to come my way. I'm searching for jobs, waiting for a a program to start. Um, and I have a lot of time on my hands right now. And I was using that to stream and make content recently. but And that was like very, very mentally you know, stimulating for me. But I think I was really missing the physical aspect of it. And again, it's like I have so much energy that I wake up with. And, like, so much potential physical energy that, like, I just have to get it out of my system. And, like, I think a lot of this, like, a lot of people are like this in that I think maybe it's, like, society or something, like, the way that the world is um, in that if you have a lot of energy, there's, you have to find an outlet for it now. Like, you know, you can just sit around all day if you want and do nothing. You can. Most people can. And even, like, whatever job you're doing, it's probably sedentary. And, like, for somebody like me who has a lot of energy, I've always said this before. Like, if you put me in a job where I'm just sitting there all day, like, you might as well kill me. You know what I mean? Because, like, it, I've done those before, and it drives me insane. Just being under the fluorescent lighting. And it's like, here I am considering going to a electrician school now right because i've realized that even though i got this bachelor's of psychology i'm not really interested in the clinical environment i kind of just got the the degree as a you know as a byproduct of my initial delusion of me thinking i wanted to be a doctor but so i and to be an electrician you have to be on the ground floor right and you have to do this blue collar working situation where you're going to be digging holes you know as the new guy for a long time and I invite that because I've always considered this to be, you know, I'm getting a free workout out of this, you know, and 
I think like it's crazy. Here's here's a crazy thing, guys. Right? Like, I feel like. You know, I keep saying from this third person perspective of like, if you're like me, you have a lot of energy. I think a lot of people have a lot of energy and they don't realize it. Or maybe they're doing something in their life that is like sapping their energy and they're not like reaching their full potential. Like, I don't, I'm not going to go on a health rant because that's not what this video is about. This video really is about just me talking about, you know, I've been going to the gym every day recently and... I feel amazing. I feel really good again. And it actually, like, it's making me feel very fulfilled. And I'm trying to put on weight again, getting as strong as I was in the past. And because eventually, I want to get back to where I was last year, where I was very strong, very fast, had a lot of stamina and strength. And it didn't really tire me out that much. Like, I was eating pretty healthy, and I'd get to the later part of my day, and I could do other things and, you know do well on my schoolwork, you know, write papers, even to, into the late night, spend time with my wife and all that. And, you know, I just want to let you know, guys, I'm feeling really good lately. And I, for any of you guys, like, ever thinking about getting into exercising and, you know, maybe even just a little bit, like, going for a walk here and there, I'd really recommend it because, like, there's, it's like the missing piece, you know, it, I think in our society, like so many people, like I said, you could just scroll all day. You could rot max, you know, you could lay in bed, lay on the couch, get home from work. Just don't do anything, you know? And I'm saying this from a person who, you know, I would work my ass off. Like I used to, um, work two jobs, you know, I, I, one was manual labor. I was a commercial fisherman, pound fish net. Well, I would like deadlift like hundreds of pounds of fish, carry 80 pound boxes. I'd take, go, come home, take a two hour nap, go back to work, uh, work in a restaurant, right? And it was, it was pretty exhausting, I will say. But I think like even, so the times in my life when I was working like a pretty regular job and going to the gym, like you need that, for me at least, I need that going to the gym piece of my life. And I kind of haven't had that recently. I, um, you know, I worked out for 10 months last year and I took a break like six months. Now I'm back in it very weak, right? Um, not as weak as I initially was when I began, you know, I'm like decent. I'm str much stronger than I was starting last year because last year, this is going to sound crazy. Well, not too crazy. I mean, look at me. I'm pretty small. When I started, uh, last year, I was 120 pounds, right? Five foot, 620 pounds. And I got up to 140 and then I stopped because I was getting, I was like genuinely like, I think I had a lot of things going on in my life. I can't remember exactly why I stopped. But now I'm starting up again and I'm 137 pounds. And it's interesting because it's like, I think I've maintained the muscle that I had before. So I'm excited, excited to see, you know, I'm excited to see how the whole muscle memory thing works and all that. And like, you know, I started off this video talking about, you know, when I was a kid, like, running around and everything. And I think we lose that when we're adults and we forget that, like, we can still run around. And I think, like, part of the reason why I started exercising again was because my content creation and my desire for even making content has, like, severely stagnated. I was extremely interested in it for three months. Like, and... I do recognize I'm sort of not going about it the right way. That's another video in itself. But, damn, listen to my, dude, my cat is like distracting the hell out of me. But, I, yeah, you know, I think it's like really important to consider like exercise and the aspect of like play and getting the blood pumping and like equating that to like not to sound corny or nothing, but, like, imagination or something, per se. Like, you know, it's kind of hard to, like, come up with ideas and stuff when you're just, like, staring at screens all day. See, this is the issue that I've had. I'll go on a mini tangent about this. This video is not going to be as long as the other one, I don't think. But, like, I, I feel like I... The more content I watch, the less I want to make my own. And I think a lot of people are that way because 
I, dude, for real, I was like thinking in my head, like, oh, well, well, my thing's not as good as theirs. You know what I mean? It's not even like a self doubt thing. It's just like legitimately, like, dude, their thing is way better. I'd rather watch their stream than do my own. And I think that's like, that really puts a big damper on, you know, like why I want to do content creation. Or like, you know, it's just like, it's probably just like a negative mindset to have. I mean, like, kind of the equivalent of like, you see somebody who's successful and you're like, wow, I wish what they had, I wish I had what they had. Like, oh, you can even equate this to like exercise, right? When you see somebody who's in like amazing shape and you think like, damn, look at that. And like, there's probably a bunch of emotions that go through somebody's head. Like, I could never do that. Or God, I wish that was me and all this. Like, but like, I think sometimes like maybe that's the part that I'm at when it comes to content creation in that like I I see what other people have done and I'm like damn dude it's going to be a long road it's going to be it's going to take a lot of hard work and discipline and then I see like other people who like it's crazy to me like I watched like I was watching like Queso a lot and he like that's such an anomaly I think I talked about this in the last video too. And the whole thing is like now there's a million people trying to do what he did to get famous. And it's like what they don't realize is that's not going to work because everybody's trying to do it now. You know what I mean? That's the current meta. But like what they really should be trying to do is the next meta. Innovating on the, the next thing because it doesn't exist yet. And it's like you need to be the one who creates the new meta. That's why... Like, these people often, like, I think, grow, glow, uh, like, blow up like that. Like, Queso and Jinxie, you know? C you know what I'm saying? There's no way nobody's gonna, like, you could try. You could try to... I don't, I don't want to be, like, a naysayer. I'm sure people do it right now. Like, who the fuck do I know? I'm sure somebody's actually succeeding in what I just said. Like, oh, nobody's gonna do it. You know what I mean? And... I just think there's a lot more competition. And it's like when it comes down to it, it I think people would be a lot better trying to figure out the actual, uh, like a new way of doing things instead of like trying to do what worked for somebody else. But back to the exercise thing. Yeah, no, I'm really tired right now. I'm super ex like exhausted because like I went to the gym for like three hours. I did like a really like decent ass workout and then like ran quite a bit like ran like two miles at the end of it like s practically like sprinted came home like made a whole bunch of food went in the shower and just like laid on the couch again i got nothing going on lately i'm sitting here like thinking about streaming and i'm like damn dude i do feel like i got enough energy for it but i'm like what do i want to do do i want to play part of me wants to play destiny because the other the for those of you following these this mini series of long videos that I've made recently, the big thing with me lately is like I don't want to like I with streaming, I'm doing a lot of shit that I don't want to do. You get what I mean? Like I'm doing a bunch of shit I don't want to do. And it's like I need to do what I want to do, right? It makes sense. And like I think I'm really starting to realize like that's part of the reason why I well, I said this in the last video, too. I need to take a break because I'm doing a bunch of stuff I don't want to do. And it gets exhausting doing something you don't want to do every day. And I'm doing it, like, on purpose. You know what I mean? But, like, persisting despite not wanting to do some stuff is really the the key to it all, I think, sometimes. Because, like, I see, like, hear me out, dude. I'm going to be such a Debbie Downer when I say this. But, I've like I said, I watch so much content lately and like one of the things is like motivation and it's like i'm all like motivationed out lately like there's so much bullshit where they keep talking about like all this manifestation and like the way you have to think and the way that you need to have discipline and like if you just keep doing it every single day and a million times and then you'll eventually do it and like you're the golden one you're the golden child you're you're gonna do it you can you need to manifest the success in your life and it's like i was thinking about this recently Dog, like, yeah. they're showing those videos that everybody, do you think everybody is going to be the best guy ever? You know what I mean? Like, I think people give it like, that's good advice. Like, 
I just feel like so much like self help self help is like super delusional or not self help like motivational shit. Like I was gonna make some motivational stuff, but like I thought about it, I was like that's fucking shallow. It's like it's kind of like a a trick if you ask me that like people fall for because like you're telling you can tell people whatever they want to hear. You know what I mean? And like that's how motivation works. And but like and the motivation is a huge industry. It's very inspiring, right? To like hear all this shit. But, like, there's this old saying where it's, like, discipline is just, it beats motivation out of the water every time. But, like, like seriously, like, this motivating shit, like, hearing... Well, the, actually, the videos are about discipline and motivation, but I think, like, having a video about discipline uh, is a motivational, like, you know what I mean? It's motivational anyways, so it's, like, like, people will, like, I think, myself included, will, like, self-project into a lot of that, because they'll be, like... Oh yeah. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna do it now. And like, I think a lot of times if it wasn't your idea, you know, it's gonna fizzle out. That's the crazy thing, for real. Like, when it's not your idea and it's just somebody else's idea, it it might like half work, but like eventually. It needs to come from you. And that's... Part of what I'm saying right here is... Like, I'm trying to explain here how, like, being on the internet too much is, like, sapping your energy. Okay. And I have recognized this because I was really thinking about how I've always had an insane amount of energy and, like, exercise constantly and, like... I think uh, scrolling and absorbing content is like just sapping your energy. You're like sapping your creative energy. Consuming, consume, and like it's a it's a contra controversial, contradictory opinion though because a lot of people say a lot of you know successful content creators and stuff say like oh yeah I, I watch content all the time, you know, but like. They don't, um, and you know, like those things influence their content. And again, you know, I, I'll say this again. It's not like I know what I'm talking about because I don't, I'm not famous. But it just seems weird to me that like, oh yeah, this is the industry. This is the, the industry secrets. We've absorbed all the industry secrets and now we're going to implement them. And like, I feel like I'm literally at the point where like I've learned, I was talking to my mom about this because I went home for a couple days. I feel like I've learned so, so much about content creation in the past, like, three or four months that all it would take for me to do is, like, act on it. And, like, I could legitimately, like, have, like, three YouTube channels. One of them would be, like, nothing but, like, relevant information that I could generate passive income on. One could be, like, you know, experimental things. And, like, some would be, like, um, like that which works. You know what I mean? And, like, make all these YouTube videos. And, like, I just feel like, um, you know, part of it is probably analysis paralysis. But, like, I don't know. Sometimes it's, like, I feel like I could do all these things. But, like, do I want to? Like, why should I? You know what I mean? For money? Why? You know? And it's, like, it's kind of a nihilistic standpoint. You know what I mean? It's kind of a standpoint of, like, well, what's the point of anything? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. That's something I gotta work out. Um, but, you know what I mean? No, like, for real, I think, seriously, about the exercise thing. Like, people people who have a lot of exercise, or people who have a lot of energy, you gotta go out and, like, use it. Because it's one of these things where it's like, I think if you have a lot of energy and you use it, you, like, have more energy from that. Do you know what I mean? As crazy as that sounds, like your energy doesn't deplete like a battery. It's like the more that you like, it say you have a lot of energy uh, for f physical fitness or fit, you know, like a lot, of, a lot of physical energy, and you go out and like, like go for a run, like you feel like, yeah, you know, you feel good, and it's like, where did that energy come from? You know, like biologically, or whatever. 
you got more energy by using your energy. You get what I mean? And I think it's like, you know, in the universe, everything is in motion. So that probably is part of it. I lied. This video is going to be just as long as the other one. But like, you know what I mean? I think what it comes down to is if you have energy and you're not using it, you're going to lose it. You know, it's like the entropy is inevitable, right? Chaos is inevitable. Having all of these, having your talents, having your energy, having your inspirations and your dreams and everything of like, you know, your creative energy. If you don't use it, it goes away. It just burns out or something. And I really think that I'm, I've been thinking about this recently because it's like, it's such, like I said, it's paradoxical. Like you could go to the gym often and have a lot more energy, even though you're expending your energy. What's that about? You know what I mean? Me not making content is making me not want to make content. Does that make sense? It's kind of weird. But like, I think like if I started making my content again, if I, oh, why did zoom in like that? Whatever, we'll leave it like that. If I started making my content again, I'd probably want to make it more often. You know what I mean? Like you get into a groove. And I'm just waiting on that, I think, a little bit. Because like I said, it's like there's one of these things where it's like, I don't really want to do it right now. I just don't fucking want to. Why should I? You know what I mean? I don't have anybody telling me I have to. I don't have any money coming from this that my life is depending on. So I can just do whatever I want. But, and then it's crazy because it's people that would say like, well, if you want to get successful, you got to do it every day. And that's true. I do agree. But like, I think there's other ways of doing things. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm figuring it all out still. Like I was telling people before too, I'm not quitting. Definitely not. Appreciate you guys even hanging in here and talking or watching this. I'm sure the people that are watching this are the people that are in my Twitch streams. Pretty crazy. Um, I'm coming back, guys. Don't worry. It's just, I might, actually I'm going to stream after this. But, yeah, crazy though, right? You know what I mean? Go to the gym. Uh, if you want to make content, do it because you want to do it. Don't do it because it's going to make money. See, that's a good thing too. I'll, I'll end you with this question here. Like, the same way, or not a question, maybe a statement. The same way that people might pursue content creation for the money is the same thing as people going to the gym because they want to, like, they want the rewards of that. They want to be, they want the attention, right? But, like, in all reality, having health is, having health and, you know, all the things that come with being healthy are secondary to being healthy after exercising, you know? The same way that, I think if you're a content creator, the rewards, the money, and the recognition from the hard work that you put in is secondary to the, you know, the self-development that you've experienced uh, along the way when it comes to your content creation journey. So yeah, uh, that's what I want to say about that. Pretty long video. Yeah, almost exactly the same amount as the last one. All right. I might do another one because I really like this camera angle. Okay. Here, hang on. Maybe I'll, I'll keep it going while I'm still in the zone. All right. I'm going to end the recording. Uh, see you in the next one, guys.